guys, we're back with Jolly Bay Company today. As you can see, we got the whole wall filled up with all the new bags and the new baits, the worm net and action worm. We got all those filled up on this side and uh, it's kind of a mess in here, but just wanna show you guys everything we got going on right now. But uh, today we're gonna make some baits. We are got, we've got like two cups filled up of plastic. We got some in the microwave as, as you've seen. We're gonna do something you guys have seen a little bit of. You've seen the two colored baits with the double injector. We're gonna get this back out today and we're going to make some swirl colored baits. We're gonna to try to spin the injector as we're injecting it and see if we can get some swirl colored. I've got a color picked out already. I, I didn't get a request on a color to do, but I've got a color picked out. I'm gonna to try to show you guys. I think you guys are gonna like it. So uh, let's stick around and we let's get the uh, plastic heated up. All right, before we show you all the colors that we're gonna to do today, I wanted to show you all a couple custom colors that we did. I don't know if I did them on live or not, but I think I've done these in the past few days and I just wanted to show you all a couple of them. This one is an action worm and this is called Smoke Purple. And it's got purple and silver flake and we use black to make the color in. And as you can see in the light, it's not completely black. We kind of just added a few drops so it would be the smoke color that you see, but that looked really good in the action worm. And then one more I wanted to show you guys hanging up here is the, is this crawl we done? And this one is what we call pumpkin seed. I made some more of them and added a little bit of brown to them. And uh, I just think it looks really good in the crawl. It's got the brown looking body and then the pumpkin seed just really is still in the legs and the claws. But I uh, just wanted to show y'all those and uh, let's get to the colors. All right guys, so today the colors that we're gonna use are a color that I've seen used before on some YouTube videos on people fishing in the creeks and stuff that I watch. And uh, this is gonna be the same color as the Yumdinger that they make it. And it's gonna be orange and pink. It's called, I think it's called uh, Bubblegum Lemon Swirl on Yum Digger, their website. But um, I've got some fluorescent orange and some pink, bubblegum pink right here. We're gonna use these and try to make the swirl colored. So uh, let's go ahead and get the color into the plastic. I messed around with the orange a little bit. I wanted to make it not so transparent. And this orange right here is very transparent by itself. And as you can see on the table, I poured this out when we first added the orange and it's really transparent. And then I added some yellow and added some more orange and finally got to this where it's not transparent and it still looks like orange. So um, we're good with this color now, I think. And now we're gonna get the bubble gum out and get it into the plastic. All right guys, we got the pink and orange ready to go. I think this is gonna be a little more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, but we got the stick, we got the wiggler, the grubs, Ned, and the Helger mites. I think I'm just gonna do the stick starting off, but uh, let's go ahead, and, go ahead and try. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can, but it's kind of an awkward thing to do. <laughs> All right, I think we did it. I think we got it filled up. We're just gonna to top it off here. All right, we got the stick poured. We got the plastic heated up again, and we're gonna go ahead and do the Ned this time. Really don't know how these are going to turn out. It's not feeling like it's going to turn out amazing, but I'm trying to go slow as I'm pouring it down, but spinning it fast enough. It's kind of hard to spin it though. I think we got enough for maybe the grub this one. I don't know. We're going to try it. It's not going to fit in that one. Let's go ahead and. Uh, them back up we don't want to waste any because after you put them in there they're together and you can't put them back in each cup 
So let's get these heated back up and we'll get another one pulled. All right, I've decided to just do the last one in the crawl. I don't know if we'll have enough for any more. We might, but we're gonna go ahead and try this last one in the crawl. we did it only got like two spins but I don't know how good that's gonna swirl what? See in a second. all right guys we are reheating the uh, scraps right now but uh, I just wanted to show you all the blending block real quick this is where the colors meet together and go in the injector at the same time but it looks pretty cool um, I think we're gonna have enough to do the stick one more time we're gonna go ahead and get go ahead and look and see what it looks like all right guys here's the stick go it doesn't look too terrible you can see the swirl in there pretty well um, it kind of is two two-sided bait just like it would be if we did the swirl but you can definitely see the swirl in some of them and it's kind of cool how some of them are different than others but yeah we're gonna go ahead and do this one one more time and then check out what the other ones look like all right I went ahead and done a couple off camera so you guys didn't have to watch that again but let's go ahead and check out what the crawl looks like. And there we go. Looks good to me. We got, it's not like it's just a two-sided bait. It's just everywhere. They're all, they all look different, which is exactly what we wanted it to do. Like you can see this claw's got mostly pink and then this one's got mostly orange. And it's kind of cool seeing that, but uh, let's go ahead and look at the other baits that we did. All right, I went ahead and opened up the grub. I didn't think it would work, so that's why I went ahead and opened it, but it kind of looks cool. I mean, we got this one, it's kind of just straight orange and this one's straight pink, but then you look down at these bottom ones and they got the swirl to them. You got the orange and the pink, but yeah, that one looks pretty cool. Let's get to the hugger right now. I went ahead and opened the first one because I knew we messed up on it, but let's go ahead and look at this one. And that one, this one turned out a lot better. It kind of, didn't really swirl because it just doesn't take a whole lot of plastic but as you can see it's got the orange and the pink and it looks pretty good all right now we got the Ned there we go we got this side well it's, it's got more pink than I thought it did this one worked out pretty good you can see on these couple up here they look really good the swirl but yeah that one looks good Let's also check out the, set these at the side and check out the action worm as well. And there you go. This one kind of didn't swirl as much as well, but it did. A little bit on that one you can see. But yeah, they turned out a lot better than I thought they would. I thought it would be a lot harder. You got some that kind of just turned out the solid color, but that's just going to happen because it's hard to really twist it that much. But uh, let's go ahead and look at the stick one last time. And here we are with the stick. There we go. This one looks really good. I really like how the stick turned out. I think it's for the best out of all of them, which is what I was really aiming for because of the Yum Dinger, seeing that color on, on the, that bait. But looks really good. I'm going to have these up on the website really soon i might try these out for myself as well there's the loadout for today all of them look really good a lot better than i thought they would you got the crawl the stick the ned the grub the helgramite and the action worm all right guys i really hope y'all enjoyed this video today i really liked getting the double injector out and trying something new that i haven't really done yet you guys some guys have uh, requested me to try to do that and see if it works. But uh, this is what we came out with, the pink and orange swirl. I really think it turned out good. I'm going to have these sitting out for a couple days to harden up, and I'll have them on the website as soon as I can. But uh, really enjoyed doing it, and I hope you all liked seeing seeing that. And uh, But y'all, check out our other videos. And I got just put a, posted a video last of how to get into making these on yourself. yourself. 
So if you really want to know where all my stuff comes from, you can check that out. But uh, check out my Instagram, TikTok, and uh, just watch our other YouTube videos. And I hope you all liked it, and we'll uh, catch you all later.